What's up everyone? This is Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we share about how to make passive income in the DeFi space with the goal of getting a thousand people to make $50 a day passive income and it's really not that hard. Uh, we talk about farming, staking, plug and play, passive income opportunities. But let's jump into this. This isn't necessarily about making money but this is how to get uh, money that you sent to your MetaMask wallet or another wallet and you don't know where it is or it's stuck in Ethereum. Like for example, here in my MetaMask wallet, you can see that I have $5 USD. I sent five bucks there and I wanted it. I thought it was gonna go to Polygon or something cheaper, but how do I get it out? Um, one of the ways that you can do it is there's a thing called bridging. You can bridge it to Polygon where transactions are a penny or less. So just to show you what this looks like, Okay, I have $5. It shouldn't take much to get it onto the Polygon chain, right? Which is another chain. Uh, it's compatible with Ethereum. It's also in the MetaMask wallet. You can see I've, I've added it to my MetaMask wallet down here, Matic. And let's see how much this will cost. Well, let's just click transfer. Okay, we'll go through it. Oh my goodness. So if you want to bridge it, we're looking at $27 plus $113. So you're looking at 30, 40, $140 to take uh, $5 from Ethereum and take it over to Polygon. Okay, so can't do that. Um, let's look at gas prices. Well, you're looking if we just want to do a transfer, it's $32 right now, which is crazy. So if I wanted to even just send it back on MetaMask because I got my money I sent over here. It's like, oh no, I wanted to be able to use it. You can't use little amounts of money on Ethereum because it, sending it costs more than actually putting it to use somewhere. And even if you wanted to stake it somewhere, um, you're looking at $86 plus $30, so probably around 120 So, okay, how do we get it back? Well, let's look at what it would take to just send it to my MetaMask wallet. So, or send it back to the actual exchange. Well, I do see that I can copy my address. I'll go back here to Coinbase and I'll get this address. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to receive, I'm gonna go to receive, I understand. Turn on instant transfers. All right, let's grab this address. And remember, this is an Ethereum address because it has an OX right there, OX. Ethereum. So I'm going to copy that, go back to the MetaMask, click on the $5, send it, go next. I'm going to max this out. So it's looking like the gas fees are $38 plus a little bit more, $43. So even though this is 32, add on $15, that's crazy. So what we're thinking is that this is not a good thing to do right now because the gas, oh my God, the gas just went up to $55. So a lot of us are in the situation where we sent coins to Ethereum and we don't want them in Ethereum. Um, so what we do is we reject it. We, we, we have the money stuck effectively in our Ethereum wallet. And the only thing to do is wait till gas prices go down. And how do you do this? I'll type in ETH gas heat map. And what's cool about this is it tells you what time are people not using the network. <laughs> and uh, the lighter, the better. So what I always find is that Sunday night, Monday morning, Saturday morning, 5, 6 a.m. This is my time, CT time, central time. The gas is cheaper. So the weekends are fairly cheap but i find out in the morning before people are on usually in the afternoons it gets expensive so we're talking sunday and saturday sunday night people are out doing something sunday morning saturday morning saturday night i know it's inconvenient you're going to have to wait but at least you're not paying 55 dollars to send it and remember there's there's no quick workarounds with this once you do it you're going to have to bite the bullet and one more thing you're going to have to do to send it out is that even if this price goes down to half, you know, of sending it out, well, you're still going to need to send some Ethereum over to actually pay for the gas price. So then we would go over here. We'll go over to trade. Let's just say I'm going to buy some Ethereum. So you're going to have to buy some Ethereum to send over. 
I'm not gonna pay it. And so you buy the Ethereum, you take it over here, and you just go send. And we're gonna send the Ethereum to the MetaMask address. So what we do is we just click on this, put it over here. I don't have any money I need. I'm not gonna pull up the $5, I'm just leave the $5 personally. But if you have a little more, uh, it could definitely be worth it. Even if you have 100 or $200 of some coin, always send it back to the exchange so you, you can change it out. I personally like sending it back to Qcoin because Qcoin allows you to just send it to a lot of different chains, including Avalanche or other chains. So Qcoin is a much more usable uh, exchange than Coinbase because there's a lot more uh, coin offerings. So yeah, you would actually send it from here to this wallet and I don't need a message and I don't have any Ethereum to send so I won't do it but you're gonna need to buy at least maybe twenty thirty dollars of gas to send it over to that wallet and they're gonna charge you about five or six dollars and to let you know what they're gonna charge you let's just send the show you what it's like to send the five dollars that I do have so we're gonna go to my assets and if I wanted to send my USD coin send five dollars to this address and this is a very high gas time we're gonna see 166 so sending is thirty two dollars so update that so what would the cost be we just click continue they're gonna charge 645 oh wait they're gonna charge eleven dollars so just know that sending um, from an exchange to a DeFi wallet is cheap. Sending from a DeFi wallet to an exchange is a little more expensive or a lot more expensive. So this is just the cost of doing business if you make this issue. Remember, I have a great video on how to avoid ETH gas prices inside of sending to MetaMask. And it's all centered around sending Avalanche from Coinbase because Avalanche is on another chain. Okay, say you send something and you're just completely lost as where the heck are my coins? What you do is you go to zapper.fi.dashboard. And what I love about this app is I've already connected my wallet and it shows you where everything is. It shows you, oh, you've got coins in this wallet, this wallet, this chain, and it shows you your networks, Binance Smart Chain. These are all the EVM networks, all the networks that work with MetaMask, this guy, and uh, it shows you where the money is. So you go, oh, I had some money somewhere. Where did it go? I lost it. Use ZapperFi, and this will really help sort you out. Um, yeah, everything should show up here, and this is a great solution to figure out on how to get the money out. Remember, there's no quick and easy solution, but just wait for the gas prices to go down to send it out, and if you get super lost, just use ZapperFi, connect your MetaMask wallet, it's pretty safe and secure, and you can see all the different chains and where it's what's going on there. So yep, these are solutions, and remember to like and subscribe if you want more info and tips on how to make passive income in the DeFi space. I make videos just about every single day, and um, if you want to ask any questions, hit me up at um, CryptoCashCamp at CryptoCashCampTwitter.com. And I answer questions there. I don't answer comment questions. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.